This video is a manual of complete testing of an emergency position indicating radio beacon with help of EPIRB tester mini. We have an EPIRB which has to be tested every 12 months to confirm that it is operational as defined in appropriate performance standards. Complete volume of the test is described in IMO Circular 1040. First of all, check battery's expiration date and replace if necessary. To confirm the EPIRB is operational and correctly uncoded, we will perform some tests. Here we have EPIRB tester mini, complete set with optional attenuator and cables, but we don't need it today. Let's take and assemble the device. I connect Wi-Fi antenna and antenna for testing through the broadcast. Okay, it's ready. We turn on the tester. As it is enabled by any mobile device, we will show you how to do it with help of mobile phone. We select the proper Wi-Fi link to connect the devices. And we go to any browser. Here we should input the address which is taped here. Or we can connect it by barcode. Here is EPIRB tester menu. To provide testing, we select perform tests. Let's select the proper source antenna mode and the proper channel to test. Now we start new test and wait to receive the signal from the EPIRB. Meanwhile, we place the EPIRB to the recommended distance of 1 to 5 meters and turn it on to the test mode. Radiated tests should be only carried out in a shielded room or a box. Let's view what EPIRB tester mini have measured. We have here frequency in kilohertz, power level in dBm, full hex code ID, country code, MMSI code, BCH code verified, message format, protocol type, EPIRB operation mode, time of preamble and total transmission time, and other parameters. Save the measurement and we have them stocked in internal memory of the tester. Alright, the testing on COSPAS RSAT channel is done, so we may go on and check the EPIRB signal on frequency 121 MHz. We select the proper mode, the proper channel to test and press start new test. We wait for the signal from the EPIRB that stays on recommended distance. We hear, we hear audio confirmation of signal presence. And we see that the PERP tester received the signal successfully. Here are uh, frequency in kilohertz, power level in dBm. Save these measurements too. After all parameters are checked, we have right to create test report to confirm that EPIRB is operational and will help if any emergency situation at sea. All you need to do is to open saved test result. Input vessel details and press annual report button. It's ready. You have it saved in doc and HTML format and you can add your logo on the sheet of paper.